Formal welcome to you, by the way. You Girl, my first job out of college was in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Like, <laughs> in Omaha. So clearly, like, I did something wrong. I am very impressed, and it is great to have you here. All right, taking a look at our weather. But we're all here together now, right? In Cedar Hill, gusts, those wind gusts you can see definitely died down right around 18 miles per hour, and those wind speeds are dying down as well. Let me go ahead and see if this one's too advanced. There we go. Right now, 83 degrees downtown Dallas. So, yeah, another warm one out there. Unseasonally warm. We should be in the upper 60s around now. Temperatures very similar across the board when you look at the northern portion of the state. Gainesville 81, Monum 81, 81 in Paris. So uh, not a whole lot of di differentiation there. And we are slightly warmer in the majority of our counties, especially areas that are uh, east of Fort Worth than we were around this time yesterday. A little cooler out west. All right, just taking a look at that cloud cover. So you can see that, uh, you know, we had a nice break in the clouds this afternoon. They're going to pick up this evening, and we do have a slight risk. And when I say slight, I mean it's marginal, and it looks like it's primarily affecting counties that are southeast of DFW. The big risk, I, the thing I think we should focus on is the fact that we have some really strong rain chances and potential for severe weather later this week. Those chances go up. The good news is I do think that we should be near normal when it comes to our March precipitation rate. That's good because we always need the rain. I wish I could say the same for areas to our west and the panhandle where they're dealing with all of those fires, but they're just remaining dry. We do have a strong cap. That's going to help us tonight prevent us from getting extremely severe weather because that definitely diminishes those chances when you have that stability in the atmosphere. So about 20% is what you're looking at tonight. As we move through it, I think that tomorrow we're really going to just remain relatively dry. The big day is Thursday, Wednesday night to Thursday. You could definitely see rain start to pick up and Thursday. Your chances are right around 80%. If you can stay home Thursday, you know, I don't think that's a bad idea. I mean, most of us can't just stay home whenever we want, but if you're going to pick a day, I think that would be a good day. Friday morning, it looks like you also have rain chances that continue. We start to dry out by Friday afternoon. So uh, tonight, light winds. We're going to drop down to 59. We have a weak cool front moving through. When I say weak, very weak, it's going to lower those dew points. So by tomorrow night, it's going to feel slightly cooler and drier as you go outside. Tomorrow's high, 81 degrees, moving through that 14-day forecast. So you can see those temperatures with that rain that moves in Thursday into Friday, they really drop and by the weekend we are back down to the 40s so that is something to not look forward to oh there's my little clock so don't forget to spring forward you know what Jason? we're gonna make it nice and cold for you and then we're gonna make everybody get up an extra hour earlier. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that uh, but at least we get that extra hour of daylight thank you stacy